we're about to introduce the next match. When Lord Stephen Farrell decides to make his presence known. God knows what he wants today, folks. We know the Lord is never short. Still aligned with uh, Lord Stephen Farrell. Truly one of the brightest stars, as he says. Look, we really had a. Uh, a breakout performance at in their house took on Jody Fleisch in a very impressive encounter. It's a shame that he has to associate himself with uh, someone like Lord Stephen. We to send our uh, thoughts and prayers out to Ali OK. Hope everything is OK. I wonder how much of this is, is Jaden's doing and how much this is the Lord's doing. Is this the Lord's work? It's the first time, folks. We're about to see the hometown hero, or should I say the hometown monster, on his own in the DOA setting. Last time out, the banker Mark Lloyd paid for rehabilitation for, for Jackie Hyde, a local psychiatric unit. What a thunderous reaction for Hex. Another man that's been with DOA since the very beginning. One of the most beloved men in Great Yarmouth, regardless of the wrestling. A 
Not sure if Dobra quite realises the fight he's got himself into. Spoke about Giants at the start of the show. Yeah, we've got ourselves another one, folks. We've gone fishing and we've caught a big one. Jaden doesn't quite want to uh, listen to the crowd. So apparently, Hex is going to kill him. And Dopa really flying in there straight away. I think his speed is going to be the, uh, the best advantage he's got in this match. That may be the only advantage he has because as soon as Hex gets his hands on you, could be game over. <laughs> Flying Stinger Splash from Jaden Dokra. Oh, and a boot up from Hex. This really is a cat and mouse game, and I think the cat just caught the mouse. Big sidewalk slam into the pin. One, two. Jaden able to kick out. You see this rolls to the outside. Say, you call him a chicken. And I mean, if I was being thrown into a literal lion's den and I refused to go and get more, I'd be fine with being called a chicken. Just gonna say that. Um, not sure if a test of strength is the smartest move right now. Jaden Doka with his hand at full height is about, uh, about the same height as Hex's face. One hand locked in, Greco Roman knuckle locking. Jaden, oh, there you go. I was going to say, Jaden Doka already, already looking a little shaky. You're attacking the legs. That's, oh, come on. That is not how our Lord should behave. Jaden really going to work on the leg and essentially if you're going to drop down a tree folks you go straight to the roots go to the base essentially right now that height advantage is completely negated as now Jaden Dokra stands tall over Hex Ropes. Oh, chop block. A chop block to the back of the knee. Again, a cheap shot from Lord Stephen Farrell. They're looking for a half crab. Looking for that half Boston crab. Hex able to fight out, this is the thing, the leg power of this guy, insane. Off the 
ropes. Oh, but a big clubbing clothesline from Hex. Scoops him up, slams him down with authority. The crowd wants some more. Choke slam, goozled in. Oh, wait, oh, and a headbutt first, why not? Picks him up. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. Went straight to the eyes. Oh, and again, back to the knees. Again, the Lord getting involved. And that might have just pissed off the big guy. Front stunner, one, two. Shoulder up, but only just. Oh, and Hex has seen enough. Oh, and miscommunication, malfunction at the junction, if you will. Lord Stephen Farrell taking off the apron. Oh, and a huge choke slam. One, two, three. That's what you get when you mess with Hex. Initially titled to be Ali O.K. Send our, ba our best thoughts to him. Lord Stephen Farrell decided to book his client into a, uh, a match, but let's face it, folks. Hex is an absolute beast. I think we're even on James Open's best day with or without Lord Stephen Farrell. I think there was only ever going to be one winner. It's great to see Hex back at the drill hall. Back to his winning ways. You absolutely love to 